Hey YouTube, today we're going to put a chip on an adapter ring for a Canon, um, well, what are we going to do, right? Let's start from the beginning. I got myself a few vintage lenses. This is a 50mm 1.4 that I really, really want to use on my new cameras. So, if we start from the beginning, this 50mm 1.4 um, Olympus OM Zuku lens, nice little lens. So I really want to use this really nice vintage lens on a modern camera. So here we have a 50 millimeter 1.4 uh, EF Canon lens on a T2i. So it's a EF mount. So what we want to do is find some way to connect this to that. At the same time, have a way to confirm focus. So on the internet, you see a lot of converters they sell for a um, Olympus lens to a EF lens or a Canon EOS lens. So what we're going to do is that we have the adapters. As you can see, basically just align the dots, put the adapter on. You know, basically locks in, and you could fit this onto there. However, Canon on the T2i and most uh, Canon lenses has a microchip or a little chipset here that actually tells it what the lens is and you know it basically allows it to confirm autofocus checking. You know it's a little beep sound you hear when you have the autofocus on. But to buy the chips, the chip online, it's it's pretty inexpensive. But however, you know they don't really make too many of these. I mean, you can buy it on eBay to get that chip. Let me put this back. However, this chip on eBay is probably around what ten bucks maybe. But it basically it's a. There are most of them are on eBay and they're programmed for a uh, fifty mm one four Canon lens like that one. Right, so they're just pre all pre-programmed to a one four. They're assuming they're covering a lot of these uh, vintage um, fifty millimeter one four. So most of them, when you buy it online, they're meant for fifty millimeter one four, anyways. You know, you see on the other uh, YouTube's that you know they have um, people putting them on eighty five one fours and stuff like that. It's all okay, as long as you do your calculations right once you after you install it, because you have to make sure you know that you're not getting that much light. Anyways, long story short, let's go ahead and do it. So what I did was I bought two. One, I bought a, um, a OM to EOS mount, and I bought OM meaning uh, Olympus mount, and I bought a PK, which is a um, another mount, but it was really inexpensive. That's why I bought it. I bought it mainly for the chip and not really for. Um, not really for the mount per se, but it was still a Canon mount. And if I ever get one of those other, you know, uh, lens types, you know, it was on sale. So I got this for 10 bucks. Normally these things cost about 15, 20, 20 dollars. But I got it for 10 bucks just to take the the chip out because it's the same chip. So what we're going to do is we were, we're basically, what I did was I took the old one, put it over, marked the, put the points together. Put it over each other, get a sharpie, and marked where it overlapped. So I marked where the chips were before, um, you know, basically taking off the chip. So I'm gonna put that aside. Put that down here. What you're gonna need is probably some epoxy. Yeah, you know, I got some epoxy resin, and we we could even probably use some super glue just to hold it in place. And well, the epoxy resin's uh, taking five minutes to set. But long story short, you basically mark the positions and we're just going to put it right over it and glue it on. So let's do it. Got some five minute epoxy. Da -da -da. Bonds metals, plastics. Well, we're just going to bond metal to metal. Um, looks like five minutes of handling time, ten minutes of set time, and one hour of cure time. Five minute epoxy. That's not bad. Okay. So, rough and clean surfaces, okay, blah, 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 blah. 
Looks like equal amounts, right? Unscrewed, blah, 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 remove seals, dispense, okay. Mix early, apply surface repair to join together. Okay, so it looks like the same amount for each side. Okay, sounds pretty simple. Some paper, and let's go ahead and mix some of this epoxy up. So we need some equal parts. I don't know. I don't know if I need to put on some gloves or anything, but it should be okay. That didn't work. Let's go cover the hole there. I'm going to punch a little hole here too. The reason why is because I'm not going to just need a little bit of it. Let's pour a little bit out. You don't need a lot. Just Actually, just a really small bit. And equal bits here. about right. Okay, put the caps back on. Good thing about epoxy is that two different parts. Get another piece of paper. In fact, let's use some paper and rub them together. Mix, 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 mix. Mm, not much of a science here, but I'm just going to go ahead and rub a little bit of this stuff on the edges. Now I'm going to just go get some of the epoxy that's pre-mixed and mixed it. And then I'm just going to slather some of it on the edges of here. Go ahead with the uh, place it right on. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit. Glad there's like a five minute handling time here. The scary part is that I'm getting this on my fingers. I better have wash this off before it gets stuck on my fingers. That's something anyway, I don't want to happen. But I figure I'm putting some on here. That's enough. I don't want to touch those contacts. And I'm going to go ahead and slide back on here again. Put it back to where the marks are. Slide it over, a little bit of bit so that it gets a little bit more. Okay, I think that's about it. Just need to hold on to that for a while. Oh. I'm sorry, I think I should probably put some sort of tacky stuff or probably put some tape on it, which I should have done beforehand, but. I'm going to go ahead and let it sit like that. It's between my two points. Should be right. Put it back there for a sec. Wipe this stuff off my hand. I should use some gloves on this before starting this, but oh well. A 
There's a little bit of uh, epoxy that went on it, but I'll just inches thin closer, make sure that we made contact. Should be it. There we go. That's about it. Let's go let it sit for about five minutes since it is five minute epoxy. Just checking the detail here. Yeah, just basically slide it right on top of it. Took it off one, put it in the other. Should be pretty good. I come to think of it, I think I should use some hot glue or something as a way to hold on to it, but it looks pretty, pretty flat. Let's go let it be for now. So, move this out of the way. Toss this. That was efficient. Now, as we're here, my fifty millimeter one four. Does the check real fast? It looks about the same. Does it verify if it's aligned or not? I'm looking right above it. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, it should be pretty good. But I'm glad I'm working um, not on the lens, but I'm working on just that frame because I sure don't want to get any of that epoxy on my lens or any of the lenses. Uh, but this way, I used to have some, I have a focus lock confirmation or autofocus, not, not focus lock, autofocus confirmation for my lenses, for these manual lenses I'm getting. And I didn't have to pay 30 bucks for it. Um, just find the ones that are on sale. That's basically a Canon Focus with a chip. Take it off. It's usually just basically screwed on. Uh, but it's basically, you know, you could use a little bit of acetone, but I don't suggest it. Just unscrew the screw. You probably have a little bit of glue, just like how we had it here. And you basically just want to unscrew it and try to basically work the glue off of a razor. Or something, just run it through and cut some of that stuff and it'll eventually come off. But let's hope this works. I'm, I can't wait. Can't wait. But thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a little later and see if it works. But I just wanna make sure this thing sets first. But yeah, that's all there is to it. It's especially easier if you take it, you basically. Uh, salvage another piece for it because then I already have support for it at the side on the bottom so it comes with a little angle piece right there I'm sure you could see it but it comes with that so it's, it's all good so I'm gonna let this sit for another, another few minutes I'm constantly touching it and that, that's not a good thing but Okay. Oof, and this epoxy actually has some some light fumes to it, so it might be good to just actually put it somewhere for a little more air. Anyway, sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye.